I am Frank Rusek. Last summer on August 13, 2018, my daughter Shannon Watts and her children were murdered. They were killed by Shannon's husband and the children's father, Chris Watts. I can't possibly describe how painful the last 11 months have been for myself, my wife, and my son, Frankie Jr. And for everyone else who, care, who cares so much about Shannon and her children. Just dealing with this type of tragedy is more than a family should bear. But I am making a statement today because for the past 11 months, piled on top of pain and the grieving of this devastating loss our family has been subject to horribly. Cruelly abused, outright bullying, and daily, on a daily basis. I don't want to draw more attention to the viral material that has been posted online. And so I want to go into, I don't want to go into specifics. But I will say that our family, including Shannon and her children and our grandchildren, have been ridiculed, demeaned, slandered, mocked in the most vicious ways you can imagine. We have been subject to false accusations, fake Facebook accounts, hate speeches, and constant stream of ugly, evil insults and attacks. Every time we turn around, there is someone trying to capitalize on our tragedy. <sighs> by, spending, by spreading false rumors and outright, outright lies about Shannon and our grandchildren, we have been subject to threats on our lives, all because we are victims in painful tragedy. This is so wrong. It is cruel, it is heartless, and it is flat wrong. It breaks my heart to know that we are not the first family to have to live through this kind of tragedy. And we won't be the last. Families like ours should have the right to be safe and the right of basic level of privacy. The right to mourn in peace. And it boils my blood that my family and other families are dealing with worse imaginable tragedy, have to deal with this kind of cruelty and bullying. It needs to stop. To Congress or to any person position in power, we are calling on you to do something to pass laws that will protect victims of unspeakable crimes from from this kind of abuse. Our online social media sites like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, we have contacted you many times, reported this abuse, but no avail. We are calling on you again to do the right thing, to take some responsibility for your platforms and stop this despicable conduct. To the people who feel they are entitled to profit off our loss, we urge you, please stop. And for the people who are interested in this case, who feel compelled to comment and discuss, please stick, stick to the truth. It is painful enough for us to just dealing with the reality, reading the insane conspiracy theories Ugly false rumors and lies only make it more painful. Finally, to the people who have stood with us, who have supported us and prayed for us and our family. For Shannon and her grandchildren, we can't thank you enough. God bless you all and thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, friend, quick question. Uh, was asked us respectfully, but mm -hmm. was there any uh, fear about coming forward because you're now giving these people that are saying this stuff even more for their platforms, if you will? No. Mm -hmm. And did you come here, back to Colorado, here today, I mean, for the sole purpose of doing this? Yes, I did. Why? Why? Because I felt it needed to be done here at her house. 
Because that's how bad it is. Yes, it is. I mean, are people, you know, it sounds like a lot of this is happening in the online space. I know you don't want to go too much into mm -hmm. it, but people hide behind those names on the internet, and it sounds like that's what's kind of going on. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and how that's... Um, basically, it's, just, it's a nonstop thing. Uh, the, you know, everybody talking about things that were not done correctly uh, and keep pushing the issues. It's a lot of ugly out there. A lot of ugly. 